Hey everybody, welcome back to Doc G's Reloading. I did get a request to do a video on the Surefire Aviator uh, flashlight uh, that I had. I did a review on it before. This is the one with the uh, white light and the red light. And I had uh, one of your requests that I show the light in the dark. So uh, I've got it on red output right now and I'll switch it to white in a minute. But uh, it's going to get dark here real quick, and we're going to show you what it looks like in the dark. So, here we go. So, this is low light here. Um, this would be good if you're indoors. That's high. Okay. Uh, let's go back to low. So, we're going to walk over, and I'm going to do a 10-foot uh, video here. We're going to be at 10 feet from the wall. Uh, and you'll be able to see what it looks like. All right, so at 10 feet from the wall, this is kind of what you can see. So this is the level of detail that you would see. So this light is really good, I would say, if you're inside your house and you need to walk around without, you know, losing your night vision, um, it would be good. Now, if you want to, if you're outside, that's when I would switch to the high power. Now, this is a high red, same distance, 10 feet. Um, you can still see around, this is at 10 feet to the wall, and that gives you the red light uh, on high. So this would be better if you were outside. Um, and um, it would be good for, you know, just, if you were hunting or camping and you needed to go out on a trail or something and go to the bathroom or find the restroom or whatever, this would be really a good light to use for that. I mean, you could still use the low, but the low is pretty low. As you guys can see there, it's very, very low. I mean, it's very, that's easier to see. That's much harder to see. I mean, I guess you could get away with using this if you're walking a trail close, close in front of you. Um, but, uh, you know, that's a lot better. I'm gonna switch it to white light now. Now that's white on low, so that's the white light on low. And that's at 10 feet. And then this is the white light on high, that's 250 lumens. Uh, and that would, I mean, that's really good penetration, lights up the whole room. Um, again, a big difference. We'll go back to the red. And that's red low, 10 feet indoors. And then that's red high, 10 feet. Now I'm gonna to walk towards the wall with it on low here. We'll go back to low. And I'm gonna to walk toward the wall so that you can kind of see. Here's the thing I used to barrel sight my, now that's, this is at about um, five feet, if that, to the wall. Um, and that's on low. On high, it's much brighter, more than you would need. But as you turn around here, you can kind of see that red light goes quite a distance. So, um, now on low, you could certainly navigate here. Uh, it's harder for you guys to see this than it is for me, but, um, you know, on high, like I said, it would be better if you're outside. Uh, but that gives you some idea of the intensities and this is up close here that's high and then that's low so the low would be great if you were having to look at documents in a car you know let's say you had to look at a uh, old-fashioned map or you had to um, look something up in a book or something that didn't have a screen that was lit uh, you could use this low light you know highlights going to give you a lot more penetration and this is a good 20 feet away from the same wall you can see that on high on low, you don't, you're not going to see much. Yeah, that's high, red. All right, so I hope that uh, turns some light on. I hope that gives everybody an idea of kind of what to expect with the uh, aviator, the Surefire Aviator, and that's in red, and it preserves your night vision um, when you're out and about. Again, not inexpensive, but it's a Surefire, and I love Surefire equipment, so. Thanks again for uh, 
watching Doc G's Reloading.